Hello lovely viewers, you are most welcome to our channel Poetry Online. In this video, we shall be presenting some questions and answers on Night Fall in Soweto. Kindly subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get updates on all our new videos. Once again, let us assure you of a very interesting discussion. Get ready for this lesson. The background of this poem can be traceable to their a. White Civilization B. Partition of Africa C. Apartheid System D. Nationalism The correct answer to this question is C. Apartheid System A night in Soweto is characterized by all but one. A. Terror B. Fear C. Bliss D. Insecurity The correct answer to this question is B. Bliss This poem is an example of A. Dej B. Praise poem C. Protest poem D. Elegy the correct answer to this question is C. Protest poem. The tone of the poem gives an impression of the poet's A. Identity B. Joy C. Anger D. Indifference The correct answer to this question is C. Anger Which of the following in the poet's diction shows his disapproval of the appetite system a dreaded disease b ravaging it beyond repair c a murderous hand d you are my mortal enemy the correct answer to this question is d you are my mortal enemy the mood of the poem is that of A. Indifference B. Happiness C. Carelessness D. Sadness The correct answer to this question is D. Sadness How many stanzas has the poem? A. 3 B. 4 C5 D6 The correct answer to this question is D6 Nightfall in Soweto is basically A descriptive B narrative C argumentative D expository The correct answer to this question is B Narrative The poem opens with a literal device A. Apostrophe B. Simile C. Personification D. Metaphor The correct answer to this question is C. Personification One of the aims of the poem is to denounce all forms of deprivation by the system known as A. Appetite B. Indirect Rule C. Assimilation D. Divide and Rule The correct answer to this question is A. Appetite Which of the following devices is used extensively in the poem? A. Rhyming Words B. Simile C. Personification D. Irony The correct answer to this question is C. Personification Which of the following bears describes the poem? A. Lyrical B. Ode C. Epistle D. Didactic The correct answer to this question is A. 
lyrical. The images invoked in this poem is that of A. Civilization B. Betrayal C. Brutality D. Contentment The correct answer to this question is C. Brutality The poem depicts an atmosphere of A. Hopelessness B. Pride C. Violence D. War The correct answer to this question is C. Violence Which of these is personified as an attacker in the poem? A. Appetite System B. Nightfall C. Slaves D. Masters the correct answer to this question is B. Ninth form. The first stanza of the poem exemplifies A. Rhyming couplet B. End stop lines C. Run on lines D. Refrain The correct answer to this question is C. Run on lines None but one of these characterizes Nightfall in Soweto. A. Relaxation B. Rest C. Horror D. Stillness The correct answer to this question is C. Horror Strikes down the helpless victim. This line hints readers on their A power of the appetite system b vulnerability of the victim c fear of the victim d death of the victim the correct answer to this question is b vulnerability of the victim the poem presents all but one of these images a. Brutality B. Pain C. Violence D. Blissfulness The correct answer to this question is D. Blissfulness The atmosphere of the poem is that of A. Hope B. Uncertainty C. Fear D. Failure The correct answer to this question is C. Fear The oppressor in this poem is represented by A. Dreaded disease B. The dagger C. Slaughtered D. A murderous hand the correct answer to this question is D. A murderous hand. I tremble at his crunching footsteps. This line suggests A. Violence B. Suffering C. Injustice D. Fear The correct answer to this question is D. Fear where is my refuge? What is the dominant literal device in this extract? A. Apostrophe B. Personification C. Rhetorical question D. Allegory The correct answer to this question is C. Rhetorical question A dreaded disease a dreaded disease exemplifies A. Personification B. Consonance C. Assonance D. Alliteration The correct answer to this question is D. Alliteration I am the victim I am slaughtered 
I am cornered by fear. What is a dominant literal device in this extract? A repetition. B. Anaphora. C. Synecdoche. D. Oxymoron. The correct answer to this question is B. Anaphora. The murderer's hand in the point symbolizes A. Armed robbers. B. Nationalist. C. Terrorist. D. Security personnel. The correct answer to this question is D. Security personnel. Where am I safe? Not in my matchbox house. This line depicts the dash of the victim. A. The homelessness of the victim. B. The fear of the victim. C. The helplessness of the victim. D. The persistence of the victim. The correct answer to this question is C. The helplessness of the victim. Marauding beast. Marauding beast in the point symbolizes A. The whites. B. The blacks. C. The assassins. D. The victims. The correct answer to this question is C. The assassins. Which of these birds describe the houses in Soweto? A. Ghetto. B. Small room. C. Matchbox houses. D. Veranda houses. The correct answer to this question is C. Matchbox houses. Why can't it be daytime? Daytime forevermore. Daytime in this line symbolizes A. Regret B. South Africa C. The Sun D. Brighter Days The correct answer to this question is D. Brighter Days The beastly side of humans is revealed in A. His cage of death. B. Let's lose by cruel nightfall. C. Man has ceased to be man. D. Cornered by fear. The correct answer to this question is C. Man has ceased to be man. In my helplessness, I languish. This line reveals the dash of the victim. A. The injustice of the victim. B. The sorrow of the victim. C. The pain of the victim. D. The inaction of the victim. The correct answer to this question is D. The inaction of the victim. He barks like a rabid dog. What is the dominant literary device in this extract? A. Metaphor B. Personification C. Simile D. Apostrophe The correct answer to this question is C. Simile Man has become beast. Man has become prey. This line exemplifies A. Repetition B. Anaphora C. Personification D. Pan The correct answer to this question is B. Anaphora Man has become beast. Man has become prey. What is the dominant literal device in this extract? A. Oxymoron B. Alliteration 
C. Metaphor. D. Euphemism. The correct answer to this question is C. Metaphor. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video.